In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Juan Gomez de Lerano. I hope I pronounced that correctly, but he is a very good three-point shooter from the Philippines. So let's get down, let's check out how he's able to shoot the ball at such a high level. And of course, so that you can shoot at a high level yourself. Let's get down, let's check him out. I think you're going to absolutely enjoy. So when he's actually dribbling up into a shot, he does a little bit of a hop and a step. Now, technically, this could be classified as a travel one, two, three. However, I have not seen it called throughout all of the highlights that I've looked at. So at this point in time, we're not going to be focusing on that. However, something else that I do notice in a lot of his shots is he likes to go and step into his shot, whether he's pulling up for a shot or when he's getting a pass and he's stepping into a shot he tends to step into a shot versus hop into a shot now he is a left-handed shooter however he very minimally tilts away from the rim and I, what I mean by that is we can actually look at his feet and they both tend to be square towards the rim obviously the left foot tends to dip in just a bit however at the same time roughly both of these feet are the exact same distance from the rim so he's pretty well square when it comes to his feet his left knee also tends to dip in as well and he does sit his butt down so that his shoulders are actually in line with his butt to the floor and not lined up to his knees and toes. So what that tells me is that he's actually trying to take away some of his power because he may have a lot of power onto his shot. He may be a very strong upper body player. We can also see this here in this clip where he takes a step back and we even see this here with his shoulders not in line with his toes and his knees but instead in line with his heels. He also tends to bring the ball from his right side up to his left side. We can see this here. We can also see this on the step back here where he steps out towards the right side, brings it from his right side up to his set point, which is on his left forehead, roughly middle of the forehead area of a set point, which is actually quite interesting. We also see that his palm, when he's about to shoot, is facing away from the rim until he goes up for a shot which then it's his, it looks to be his pointer finger on the ball last with very minimal thumb flick, if any at all. I personally would not classify that as a thumb flick. He also has a very soft release, which generally will give him a lot of arc on his shot, but when you have a soft release, it does take away the backspin, but we do see that he has a good amount of backspin that's a half a spin that's one spin we're now going around for one more full rotation so that's two and a half that's exactly what you would want to have on your shot is roughly two and a half or more rotations on the ball when it's in the air when he brings that ball up he tends to bring it from his right side up the middle of his body to his forehead we can also see that his shoulder is in line with his elbow towards the rim, but that ball tends to be in the middle of his forehead, which then tells me that yes, he does probably shoot it off of his pointer finger. We can sort of see that right there, pointer finger or middle finger or both. I would say personally that would be a two finger release and that would be his middle finger there because that's his ring finger and, and pinky finger. And then of course he would have his pointer finger on the opposite side of his middle finger. Is this a fast release? Yes. Is this a two motion shot? That is correct. So with a two motion shot, generally that means that you have a lot of upper body strength and if you were to do a one motion shot, you would probably shoot the ball way over the rim, which is probably why we see him shooting with a two motion shot and also bringing that ball up the middle, if not the right side of his body. Now, something else that I really want to point out is the fact that when he does release, his elbow locks and it locks above his forehead. This is going to give him a lot of arc on his shot as well. So between that as well as the soft release we see here, he should have a very high arcing shot. He also does tend to jump forward on his shot as well. And we can see that here, he tends to jump roughly a whole length of his foot forward which is okay but you have to remember that any extra movement in your shot can help with inconsistencies so just keep that in mind 
And we can see that right here that he does shoot from the middle of his forehead. And there is no surprise why it sort of does kind of look like he's got a thumb flick. But with the footage that I've been able to find online, I just can't see it. He also has a very quick release and he's able to utilize a lot of fakes before he does go up for a shot which does create even more space for him to jack up those threes. I hope that this video has helped you be able to shoot the basketball better. Now with most left handed shooters they do have a lot of tilt away from the rim but here we don't see that. I hope that this video has helped you shoot the ball better. If it has I will see you guys in my next video.